We are here with a self-made, uh, I guess I would say YouTube famous, Twitter famous makeup artist. And I'm sure people are watching this like, Ebro, why are you sitting here talking to a makeup artist? Well, I'm more interested in um, the kind of growth of this person's business and, and, and professional growth of, of people who use the internet to become more than just people who are famous on the internet. Like, I love those stories. Um, so why don't you say your name? Because I'm sure your name's not at Beat Face Honey. No. <laughs> Talking to the microphone. I think this is like one of your first interviews too, I right? I think it kind of is. All right, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. I'm, I'm, we're honored to have you. Her name is not at Beat Face Honey in real life, but what is your real name? My real name is Tatiana Ward. Tatiana Ward. Yeah. And do people walk up to you on the street and call you Beat Face Honey? Absolutely. That's what they know me and by. What is Beat, beat Face? Honey. What does that? What does that mean? To be know. beat in the makeup world is it's just makeup terminology. It means. Your makeup looks amazing. If somebody says, wow, your face is beat, it means your makeup is on See, point. See, for dudes, yeah. <laughs> for dudes, nah, if your face is beat, that means you motherfucking busted, fam. Like, but you know what? It is a big term in the makeup world. Because yeah. I know the first time I heard it, I was like, wait, is, it, is this good or is this bad? Right. And, you know, after I got my makeup done, so... I think that's pretty cool. I didn't pick that name for myself, but had I known that it was going to go this far, I probably wouldn't have picked that name. What do you mean somebody else picked like, it out for yeah. you? On my first day, I, I started doing makeup in Atlanta, and on my first day at work at MAC, I was getting out of the car, and my best friend said, you better go beat face, honey. And I was like, all right. I knew I was going to start doing YouTube, and I was like, that, that'll that work. So let's start right <laughs> there. You um you worked at MAC, but were you? did you go to school for makeup? How did that start for you? No, I'm self-taught. I never had any formal training on makeup artistry. And then when did you decide that you were going to not only – go into that field but then start doing youtube videos how did that whole thing come together i was a singer my whole life singer songwriter and when i realized that i'm terribly nervous and don't like singing in front of people i was like all right i'm just gonna go do something i have to do something with my days that i love and i have to do something with my hands that i enjoy doing and make up i love beautiful things i love beautiful people i like making people feel beautiful so I said, that's the next so best did, thing. Did you study techniques? Because, I mean, makeup is about technique. You really have to know the contouring, you mm -hmm. know, like how to match colors. Like, how did that? Because that's a, not everybody can get that right away. I think those are things that you observe without realizing. Right. I mean, when you see, whoa, whoa, clearly Beyonce got a nose job. That's contouring. So I've observed those things since I was a kid. I had the big, I don't know if you remember the Brandy Full Moon uh, album cover yes, yes, yes her yes. nose contour was so perfect and i remember looking at that it was on my wall it was like a four foot poster right. and i was like how did they do that and that's when the girls when people get the shading on their yes. noses right shading on your nose to, to make, make you sure look like you i don't know what the nose. fuck y'all was just talking about <laughs> yeah. i could leave you guys alone and you guys could do right, all the okay. makeup talk Girl, y'all want <laughs> i want to talk about the business side so you're making these youtube videos mm -hmm. why i'm making the youtube videos to hopefully reach out to people and and spread my name and what i'm doing having well, it was completely marketing for you absolutely yeah. see because i watched a couple of the videos and the first thing that i thought was oh cool man a girl who knows what the fuck she's talking about is teaching these girls not to look nuts with makeup on i didn't even know they had people that do that because as a when I see girls with too much makeup on, y'all look like Joker from the Batman sometimes. And I'm like, fam, as much as I go through the mall and I see people doing like tutorials and shit, you would think that people would go get taught how to do that. And then they put the uh, eyelashes on. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> you have such a problem with this. fucking look like you got 45-pound weights on your face. <laughs> yeah. your eye, you can't even open your eye. Like, why, why would people think that looks good? I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know why people think that looks good. I don't know why people like huge obviously fake things but whatever you're into i think it's just a matter of placement and technique yeah. if you're not putting them on right well, then they're really taste, gonna look dumb and probably taste right, right and right. sometimes right. it's a look i think it all depends it has to be appropriate for what it is you know what i mean there's some people take an artistic approach to things and i but i, I get you for every day i don't think people want to look like betsy the cow or they but shouldn't apparently a lot of people do because it yeah. keeps happening betsy but the who betsy the cow you know like the big eyelashes oh, are like all right. this. Okay. <laughs> that, oh. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know she had a name, but I know what you're talking well, about. Well, when I say that, you know exactly what I'm talking yes. about. But yeah, that, that's what he's referencing. So I get it. I get it. So you start making the YouTube videos how long ago? Four years. Four years. I started with zero views. And now, I think I have over six million views. Yeah. I, think I read that you had nine million. 
Oh, no, girl. Somebody lied. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I really Run with nine. nine. Run with nine. Right, I like just nine. Take I, like it. I like it. Who's counting? Um, besides, you will buy you like three million for like a hundred dollars. You could buy views. <laughs> um, so now, um, how did the view start? Like, where did the popularity start? What was the moment that took place where you, it, shit really took off for you? I found out my niche was doing duplicating video music. Like, my very first video was Nicki Minaj's Bedrock oh, okay. Makeup. And... I found that that was my niche. Whenever a very popular video came out, a bajillion people are going to go look for that video. And if it's a distinctive makeup look, I'm going to duplicate it. I don't give a damn if it's Lady Gaga or who it is. I'm duplicating the oh, distinctive wow. looks. Okay. And that's how it started. I think the first video that ever really made me jump off was Lady Gaga's telephone makeup. Mm. And so you basically um, do these tutorials on how Lady Gaga might have, yes, or the makeup artist for Lady Gaga might have done her makeup, right. step by step by step. Mm -hmm. I'm just speculating. This is this is you know, or a drugstore way that you can so do this look. Is there a point in the video? I only watched one. Is there a point in the video where you go? This is how Lady Gaga did this makeup. However, if you're not Lady Gaga, don't ever do this in, in your, your life. fucking <laughs> life. <laughs> and do not show up to the club looking like this. You can't stop. I mean, you can't stop people from. No, I don't say that. I, I'm sure out of like 170 videos, I might have said that. You're probably going to look ridiculous. Let me be the little thought bubble that pops up on, okay. the, on your next YouTube video at the end where it goes, do not fucking do this ever in life. But what we she's showing is how to duplicate the look. You know what I mean? Like, what if somebody, why would you want to okay. duplicate that look what unless somebody, it's your fucking what Halloween what costume? If, okay, like, exactly. why would you do that? What if that? it's for Halloween or what if somebody wants to do a photo shoot? You know what I mean? What if somebody wants to do a specific Most photo shoot? Most of these and they can't afford it. Instagram uh, celebrity makeup artist. You know what I mean? So I think it's amazing that she does these two tutorial videos where you're like okay i don't have to spend a thousand dollars and Fuck you know out. all these things you know special you right. know makeup or whatever you're like listen you can go to Dwayne reed get this 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 and this that's just the same right and this is how you do it right right how for guys when we meet a girl how can we tell if she's gonna look like that in the morning <laughs> Because our biggest <laughs> fear, our biggest fear is we meet you and then we roll over one day and your whole face is on the pillow. You can and you tell. Do you better know a pretty girl as opposed to a girl that's all If you don't know. I mean, we think we know. We think right. we know. We think we know. I mean, when I take this makeup off, I don't think I'm any prize, but I also don't have a problem not wearing makeup. Yeah, but Most you have time, beautiful features. I, I usually go on features, right? I usually go on, like, what's your features? I mean, there's obvious things that ain't going to be there. You know, the lip color and the, uh, what is that stuff around the eyes called? The eyeliner. There you go. Uh -huh. um, that's These eye eyebrows are not real, honey. When I take Well, I can tell because they got corners on them, and I was going to bring that up to you next. Why do <laughs> girls... That's an interesting observation. Why do the girls' eyebrows have corners on the edges now? Like, right here in the middle. Like, now wait a minute! I do not have corners. You got a little the, corner. No, that's hair. Oh, you know okay. what it is? That they're super defined. See me? I have really dark eyebrows, so I don't need to do that. But look, she's she's literally got a a point, and yeah. there's no. And that's how my there. eyebrows oh, are. Though. Okay. You know what I mean? I don't. See, I thought she drew those on. No. There's all different kinds. I can make them more round. I can make them more <laughs> boxy. It it all depends. What about the girls that tattoo eyebrows on? That's I heard that was some the shit. The worst thing you could possibly do. I it, don't understand that. It looks that. crazy, but why, as a professional, why is it the worst thing you can possibly do? Because people also tattoo their eyeliners. I don't understand why you would want a tattoo on your face, period, but styles change. Boxy is in right now. Why so, is Boxy in? Because some know. of y'all... Somebody the, defined it that some way. Some of y'all with the... Who? I need to know. Because the box... Can we get a blend on the edge? Because some people, I'm telling you, you look like clowns. Like, Are you shit is mad I, thick. Am I blended... I mean, it eases in. Am you gotta I? ease in. You gotta ease in, and it's not Everybody's straight square. A critic. <laughs> it's not a straight square that looks no, evidently. You can't drawn. do the straight thing. A lot of people like that. That shit is trash. I have clients that have asked me for nah, that. No, that shit is doo doo. <laughs> He's not into it. That shit is doo doo. Anything that looks like circus clown, I'm not with it. Okay. Just like ASAP Rocky said it, everybody got fucking upset. ASAP Rocky was like, "I do not like dark skinned girls with the fire engine red lipstick." I hate that shit. Yeah. I do not like that shit. I should I think that shit looks doo doo. You don't like dark skinned girls or you don't like girls with I don't like fire engine red, period. Red but period. on dark skinned girls, it looks like you're trying too hard. I I, th I believe that dark skinned girls have such beautiful skin tone it's true. that they don't need to try it's true. to do certain shit. You understand? So when you go but and it's throw, not necessarily trying. I mean it's I feel like when you put on a bright color, you're trying. Like that looks it doesn't look natural to me. So you like it? Well, that's a matter of preference. You like a natural kind well, of yeah, Well, we're talking about what I like. Okay. And if you don't, if you don't <laughs> like what I like, beat it. 
oh man, <laughs> I'm done. Whatever. So my, I'll Listen. just take my boxy eyebrows. No, no, you look good. No. You look good. You look good. Listen, Listen, to each his own. Listen, I love bright lipstick. I love bright lipsticks, and I lo- I don't do bright eyeshadows, but I love bright lipsticks. But I can appreciate. I mean, it's really like you know. I've seen some girls who can pull it off, um, and they look amazing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But it, I think it's all you know. It's, it's fun. I think it's fun. I think it it's is. fun and for girls. It's supposed to be fun. It's you art. Know, your YouTube fans have trickled down to your Instagram. You have like mm-hmm. ninety three thousand, right? Mm-hmm. So you do little tutorials on your Instagram as well? No, not at all. My Instagram is my YouTube is for makeup. My Instagram is just for me and my life, oh, and a lot oh, of wow. it okay. is makeup because that's such a part of my life. Yeah. But a lot of you won't go on there and see a bunch of my my work. You'll so now your fans are just following your journey. Yes. And so that's now the you've just become So your can we talk about, okay, how did you get the attention? You said Brandy was your first celebrity client, yes. right? So how did you get her attention via social media? Because, you know, she must have tons of fans reaching out to her all the time. All the time. But that's the power of God and that's the power of social media and having faith, to a huge leap of faith that I wasn't going to play myself because... I just asked my fans, I said, can you please go get Brandy for me? Because I love her. Wow. Like, I love her. I stood out in the freezing cold to get Full Moon signed uh-huh. by her when I was, I think, 18. And I'm obsessed with her. So they went out and got her. They stalked her and to the point where she could not say no. Like, I don't think she could have said no. When did no. Full Moon come out? Forever ago. <laughs> <laughs> Still one of the best R&B albums. Her management reaches out to you and says, hey, I want to give you a shot. No, Brandy reached out to me. Brandy herself. Yes. Oh wow. Reached okay. So what was said, the first you? What was your first, the first interaction? Gig was on Twitter. Uh huh. And she was just like, "Hey, I saw that video. I loved it." And I was like, "Cause I duplicated her makeup from the Put It Down video." Right. And then months later, I heard that she was coming to Philly, and that's when I made a video sitting in my living room with no makeup on, like just grabbed my laundry from the laundromat, and I was like, "You guys, I need for y'all to go get Brandy for me, please, please." And they did. They really like. I went to her Instagram, and I saw nothing but my name over and over and wow. over again. Dope. So yeah. Brandy booked you for your first official celebrity makeup yes. artist gig. Yes. And then Nicki Minaj. And then Nicki. Same thing. Uh, one of my fans commented on a picture and said, hey, I read that Nikki needs a New York makeup artist. You should right. try. And I said, she tweeted right. that, I remember, right? She, she posted it on her blog. Okay. And I found the caption and I posted it on Instagram. And I said, y'all, wouldn't it be crazy if I did Nicki Minaj's makeup? And then again, they just attacked. Like in my Twitter, I saw a thousand and one just people saying my name, Nikki, Nikki, please. Good. Let that's her do ser- and that please, serves please, Nicki please. Minaj right too, because her fans is fucking crazy too. Yeah. You say something about Nicki Minaj, boy, they're gonna beat the shit out mm. of you on social media. Hello, yes. Barb's. I, I watch my step. No, I didn't. I go ham. That's my girl though, so I can go ham. But um, enough about all that. Um, I was told not to talk to you about money, and I do not want to know specifically how much money you make. Of course you don't. But. I do want to dis because oftentimes when people tell you to not talk about their money, it's because they have some, <laughs> right? Um, but um, for the young lady out there who's into makeup, right, mm-hmm. or um, you know, wants to kind of follow in your footsteps, mm-hmm. right? What would be your advice? Nobody said it was easy. It's hard. It's not easy. Right. That's why the the word struggling is so often attached to artists. And that's what that's another beautiful thing about my story is that I shared with my fans, yo, my car is literally broken down right now and I'm on the side of the road. And I was doing strippers makeup, like I was working in strip clubs mm. and I was pe- charging people $30 a face, but that was the best experience I could have had. I used whatever I could. I refused to do anything but makeup. And I, when I tell you it was bad, it was bad, but slowly but surely it's gotten better. And strip clubs. And you strippers can't. need help, see? <laughs> Yo, some of these strip clubs out here, look, if you want to do makeup, they got some strip clubs out here that need help in a major way. No, I but couldn't have had a better experience than the strip club. I've done heroin addicts. I've done oh my goodness. crackheads. I've done beautiful girls with bad attitudes. I've done sweet girls with good attitudes. I've done every type of... I had to be prepared. An Asian girl might come in and want neon green glitter, and the next girl might be a dark-skinned girl who right. wants red lipstick. I have right. to be ready for everything everything That's and amazing. every type of person no i just think your, your story is so inspiring especially for people who are like okay 
you know, who said, okay, I want to be a makeup artist. I don't know. I don't. I, I can't afford to go to school. Where should I start? You don't I have mean, to go to school for the makeup. The power of social media is incredible. And I think people have the tools. All you need is your phone to make a, a, mm -hmm. a little YouTube video now. You don't it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you're promoting. If you're not taking advantage of social media, it's foolish. I mean, yeah. anything. I don't it's care. It's a missed if opportunity for it sure. It truly is. And that's yeah. free. Like, it's time consuming, but it's free. Why wouldn't you? Beat face honey. Yay. Um, follow on Twitter, uh, YouTube, um, Tatiana Wards, the real name. On Instagram, I feel weird all calling a grown woman beat face honey. Well, but I'm going to follow you because you I think it's beat. amazing. Or no, I'm not going to. You're no, beautiful. Why would beat. I call I you like beat, beat, son? No. I'm not going to call you beat unless you beat. <laughs>